Hey everyone, it's Nick and John here. Um, we're going to be starting our new series called Oldie But A Goodie. First game we're going to be playing here is Oblivion. Came out in 2006, one of my favorite games. Uh, John has actually never played this game before, so he's going to be the one playing. I'm going to be here to show him the ropes of the game, because I have actually played over 600 hours of this game. God, have you seriously? That is, this is a true fact. Um, uh, we're we're going to have to stop the video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. We'll take so him out back. Dirt, dirty secret. But, um... So, John's going to be playing a little bit here. He has played a little bit of Skyrim, um, but has not... Yeah, you have, yeah. You touched, his, you touched that game. played a lot of Skyrim. Remember? Okay, you played a lot of Skyrim. Uh, has actually never played this game before. And this one, I... It was one of my favorite games of all time. So, hopefully when you guys are watching it, you can indulge in the nostalgic experience like I will be. And uh, we're just going to... like me, then... Yeah, we'll you can you can learn together. about it. Um, figured there's a lot of Skyrim videos out there, so we thought we'd take a step back. And we are playing on the Xbox, so there won't be any mods of any sort. Um, and we're not going to be delving into the DLC too much, um, unless it's highly requested. Um, we're going to be sticking to the main the main quest as much as we can. We might sidetrack a little bit, show you what else you can Who get. Um, I guess we'll see, but for the most part, we're going to stick with the main quest. We can have a definite end and a definite... Uh, oh, sorry, a definite start and a definite end. Um, turn on all the subtitles here. And there aren't actually really many cutscenes in this game, but there is a small intro scene that uh, will be quiet during that. But for the most part, yeah, just um, let's get started. Enjoy. Hopefully, I can uh, guide John al along here because this game is, although there are some similar things, for the most part, I'd say it's it's pretty different from Skyrim. I'd say there's a little, there's more aspects to it. I don't know. Probably raging Even like, for being an older game. Yeah, this game I think came out in 2006, Compared 2005 maybe. Yeah. All right. I was born. 87 years ago. Who this nigga? For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. Your mom? <laughs> this is how I was born. <laughs> this is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. Looks pretty good for a 2006 game. <laughs> yeah. I know. Graphics aren't, I, mean, I don't think that, that wasn't too long ago, anyways, but. I mean, seven years. It's pretty long. So that's quite yeah. a while. Yeah, it's I quite guess a while. you're right. Oh, that guy looked really disproportionate to the castle. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> looked way bigger. So right here, it's going to be zooming in onto the Imperial Jail, which is where you are present at this point. Right in Was that, that cell. That guy? No, that is the Emperor of Tamriel. So Skyrim takes Wet. place. Yeah, Skyrim takes place 200 years after Oblivion. So um. So while John's creating his character a little bit here, if you got if you have any uh, any questions, let me know. But for the most part, to do a quick summary of the story, which we're going to be seeing here, is um, there's the Emperor of Tamriel, who is the the man in the beginning there, and um, wait, what we're going to be? Oh yeah, I remember you could choose your race, right? Yeah, yeah, you can so male or female, whatever, and then all the race. And there's a small summary of each one. Oh yeah, you can definitely uh, change the faces and everything, um, for the most part. So the if if you read up on at all on the Skyrim races and like their perks and stuff, it's pretty much the same. Um, that nigga ain't red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're pretty they're pretty similar to you know the certain perks that you get. Red guards are better warriors. Orcs Ooh. are probably the best warriors. I would go with really? if you want to be like a straight up like warrior the, the guy. The mages were were good. Were they like the elves? The elves are good mages, and Nord like, is like another type of like a warrior guy. Fair haired. 
I mean, I'm giving you a very, very basic. Well, which one, which one did you go with? I go with the Khajiit pretty much all really? the time. Yeah, for my main character, they're, oh, they're nice. the most fun. Because there's they have uh, they're the best stealth. And in oh, this game, yeah. in this game there's acrobatics, which is uh, jumping. And which sounds kind of weird, like why would that be its own skill? But it's actually pretty cool because if you master it, you can jump off the surface of water mm. and like jump right. That's pretty funny. Well, hell, um, let's do it. Uh, there's that. You can do it with any character, but with Khajiit, they start off with a higher um, acrobatic. They start off with a higher athletics and sneak. And so if you want to play stealthy and athletically, I guess you can go ahead and pick um, a Khajiit player. Right. They're they're definitely my favorite race. Just they just. I mean, you're a fucking cat. <laughs> so how I'm could make you this not? This guy just look. As like terrible him. and as miserable as possible. You can uh, randomize it if you want. That's what really? I usually do. Yeah, because I don't. I don't usually. Yeah, I usually wouldn't. Do I don't this. like to go through all these because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I just randomize until I find one that looks cool or hilarious. And in this game, you can't yeah. quite. The character customization is a lot better in Skyrim. Although in this game, it's not, it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, you can't adjust your weight, which was something I actually really liked in the other game. See if we can you can change your hair though, so don't worry about that. Just kind of, and you can you can actually change the hue of your like player. One time I made like a dark red, looking weird guy. That's pretty oh, that, funny. That guy looks good. All right, go with that. He looks kind of angry. Fine. He looks very frumpy. Well, that I mean, his eyebrows. They all look. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, so just yeah, pick whatever you want. You like can change the guy. eye color and stuff like that if you Main. want. Uh, yeah, that's like his hair. Oh, you can get oh, some. Nice. There's some. There's some different ones. Yeah, I usually go with the headband one. <laughs> that looks pretty sweet. God, you can do the length. I think that's pretty much all you can change. There's no hair color for these guys. Cool. All right. Age. Age. I. Uh, it's just oh, kind of their face. A youngin. A youngin. All right. Um. And then whenever you're ready, just go ahead and press B. And there's gonna be some dialogue. So make sure you kind of walk up towards the cage. There's gonna be a guy who's gonna be really oh. racist towards you. Sorry, G. Don't give all. Oh. Mm. So there's gonna be yeah, a lot of tutorial kind of things coming up here. So it's it's very similar to Skyrim in that there's a, a small like tutorial in the beginning. This one's actually I think a little bit longer. Wake up, kitty, kitty. That's hey, bitch. There's a rat in my cell, A fat, tasty rat. Does the kitty want it? Is the kitty hungry? Let me at him. You'd better take whatever you can get in here, Kashit. They don't feed. Didn't you know that? First, what they the hell? Starve. Oh. Then, they beat you. Then, if you're lucky... Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. That's right. <laughs> you're going to die. Alright, so that guy is, uh... You hear that? The guards he's kind of, he's a dick. No matter who you play. <laughs> he just likes to be extremely racist, but... Um, there is actually a quest. I'm not going to give away too much, but there is a quest where you can... Kind of get some revenge on him. Oh, nice. Um, it's a it's a side quest for one of the guilds. Um, so, anyways, yeah, this is where the guards are gonna come and get you, and right it's gonna be a lot of quite a lot of dialogue uh, throughout the beginning of the here? tutorial. So the we'll definitely keep the subtitles on, and we might talk over some of it. Try not to, but um, for the most part, the story is pretty easy to follow. You won't hesitate to kill yes, man. You prisoner, stand aside. Okay, kid. <laughs> Stay out of the way and you won't stay put cool. prisoner. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. So as you can see, that's the guy in the beginning of the game. He's the uh, emperor. I've seen you. Oh, I've seen you. Let me see your face. Ooh. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. Cat porn? Is this that what he dreams about? The, <laughs> the gods give me strength. Oh, uh, I have to use that one? Yeah. Assassins attack my sons. And I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. Oh. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tambriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tambriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. So, what he's talking about now is your your role. Yeah. You your role, like your with his heart. his life. Right now, none of it really makes sense, and, and your character is pretty confused. But it makes sense because a lot, or it will make sense because a lot kind of takes place in the next 
20 minutes or so for the tutorial. That's actually quite, it's not quite that long. All right, so I'm going to have you switch them to something real quick. So go ahead and press B. You're going to bring up the menu here. And so there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot to look at here. But um, right at the bottom, there's a couple different tabs you can kind of go to using, I think, left and right here. Um, and then, so this is different tabs of this one. If you press R, the trigger, you can go to each uh. one. So this is your inventory inventory. And this is, this is the all tab. And if you go to the right, that's the weapons tab and then all that. This is your magic. And so what the one of my favorite things about the Khajiit is they actually have an Eye of Night, which if you go ahead and click that and um, equip that and go ahead and press B and go back into the game. And then go ahead and press RB is how you use the spells. And then you can see in the dark. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and you can use this as much as you want. It doesn't use mana oh, or anything. Sweet. Yeah, you can just click it as soon as it's on and off again. Uh, whenever it runs out, you can just keep Yeah, You can spam it if you want. It lasts for 30 seconds, but you can just click it again when you're done. Um, oh, really? Easily one of the most useful things in the entire game. Sweet. And you can get it if you're other if you're other races. You but can. Not as easily. Well, the thing I is that you can get it, but it takes mana, or you can get potions. But this, I mean, is literally it's free. It comes with your guy. You don't even have to do anything oh. to get it. And um, I abuse it all the time. Um, it, they had it in Skyrim too. It, it wasn't blue. I kind of like the blue. Uh, it was black and white, and you could turn it on and off, which is pretty good. So what we're witnessing here is um, these assassins are coming to kill the emperor. <laughs> I did that. The, an assassin group is coming to um, kill the emperor, and so uh, right now the, his his bodyguards are trying to fend him off. And one of them, one of them just died. One of them just died. There you go. It's always good to know how to teabag in the game. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. So what's going to happen here is they're going to leave you behind since you're just a prisoner. You're not really supposed to go oh, with. This you just kind of got out. Tool. So you're going to be uh, you're going to be uh, surprise attacked by some some uh, rats here. Other way, yeah, you're going to ah, get some. Damn, it's a big ass rat. <laughs> a couple more. I think maybe the last one. There you go. Which one's my health? The red one. Yeah, the red one's your health. Blue one's mana, and then uh, green one's stamina. You need a weapon. Check Captain Body. That's the that's the guy that just died. Or the girl, I rather, right over there. She has like some weird samurai sword thing. Steel oh, you can take that, yeah. And the torch. So you actually will never need torches now that you're this guy. Oh. Now that you're the Khajiit, you can always see in the dark. But I mean, you can pick it up, whatever. Steel short sword. Yep. There you go. Okay. And you so you're gonna want to. Yeah. I don't know how to. <laughs> That's true. Navigate around a little bit. All right. So what you're gonna want to do is kind of um, there's some treasure chests littered throughout the tutorial here. Um, Pick, start picking what you kind of want to do. Uh, now's the now's your chance to look through everything and test everything out. Yeah, I was gonna say like. Yeah. Sure. Huh. All right. Anyway, so um, so you can walk over here, and when you hear the music change like this, uh, you can hear there's some rats coming for you, and you can take them out pretty pretty quickly with that. Now was um, that axe that I got better? Um, it's, now, what is, like, okay, so what you got here is, on the left side, here, this top column, the coin, thing? The coin is how much it's worth, oh. um, you, if you sell it, you're gonna sell it for much less than that. Oh, okay. So, and then the next one is how much it weighs, the feather there, mm. and if you see in the bottom left of this kind of inventory, you got 26 out of 200, so you oh. can, you can fit quite a lot. Uh, and that goes up with your strength that you, right. um, upgrade. And then the the little sword is how much damage it does. Oh, and then really? the health there is its durability, which is what something they got rid of in Skyrim. You have to repair your weapons in this game. It's it's fairly oh. easy. I thought, oh. So um yeah, you don't really have to do that in Skyrim at all. Um it's fine. It, it's pretty easy in this game. So what you want to go ahead and turn around actually and search that skeleton guy's oh. body, and he's gonna have some other stuff you can I, you can. I mean, it's really I worth it to take. Oh yeah, they're like weightless. I guess. Yeah. You can grab the dagger, grab the armor and stuff, and grab the, the lock picks for sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna... Dagger, dagger. So right now, all of these weapons actually do the same amount of damage. Yeah. But that's partly because you're not really upgraded in any of those skills. You have to remember that too. Okay, so actually, let's go to that menu. Go back to the left. So... Come on. <laughs> we'll just wait, we'll just wait. We're trying, yeah, we're trying to re record a video. You sure you're okay with the spaghetti dough? Yeah. I don't want you to hurry and clean it. Yeah. You're putting your order right now. Makes it with the white man's pig. Yeah. Mm. You know we got a ton of it. Oh. Actually, a couple pounds. <laughs> a ton of bacon. 
Not enough. Not enough bacon. Okay, gentlemen. We will leave you to record. All right. Uh, thank you. Okay. You done? You done, three, kid? You done? Okay. Three, so, three, two. two. All right, so what you got here on this screen is, um, in this game, some, there's something very, very different. Probably the biggest difference between Skyrim and Oblivion is you have your minor skills, and then you have your major skills. And um, your minor skills are things like, um, like acrobatics and athletics and all the magics. Like they have mysticism in this game, which is something that's not in Skyrim. And illusion, those are all the minor skills, right? And these are the major skills which govern those. Okay. And so it's it's uh, it's so not it's like subcategory. Yes, it's almost. not as confusing as it seems. It's actually very simple. They just kind of split everything up into two categories. So if you go to the left here first, these are the go to the right. Actually, one more. There you go. Um, if you look at each one of these is the major skills. And so what happens is every time you level up. You get a certain amount of points um, to upgrade your skills here, and if you like, the more you use your strength, uh, the more you can yeah. upgrade it. And when every in this game, you level up uh, once you obviously you get your experience bar full, and then you sleep. Okay. So it gives a point to sleeping. Um, so then each one. So let's say like you you upgrade a skill that's under strength. Let's say you upgrade it three times. Then you're gonna have a plus three here, and then when you sleep, you can pick one. And this will all make sense when we get to it. And well, so basically- What about um, the clothes? How do I get these clothes on? Do oh, your, your new armor? Armor wear? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? No, so these are, these are the minor skills oh, okay. here. And so these are every single one that's in here, and there's quite a lot. Um, maybe a couple more than there are in Skyrim. Uh, actually, I think there might be the same amount, but they switched out the names and changed some of it, but you'll, you'll notice like the- there we go. The similarities. So yeah, here's your your item menu, and there's actually those wrist irons. I I like to keep them because I I don't think you can get them anywhere else in the game unless you go to jail. So oh, really? whatever. But you can do whatever you want. Make a guy whatever you want, obviously. And so this is gonna teach you how to do the thing. Real, do some uh, archery real quick. How which do you I want get to. that the the night vision thing off? If I wanted to get off, you you just have to wait. Yeah, in in Skyrim they actually made it better. You can click it on and off, but in this you just you just have to wait. wait. Although you're gonna find that you're gonna be using it a lot because this place is really dark. So, I to... so this is if you look at the bag there, this is everything. Right. These are just the subcategories, but um, if you want to use those, but yeah, you'd be equipping both of those, and then you can it wants you to shoot that bucket. <laughs> oh, they... Yeah, so it's just gonna ask you to shoot the bucket. Is that how I aim? You aim, or you can yeah, just hold on. That's actually how you block if you have the oh, bow out. Yeah, and then that's just nice teach you how to shoot. Shot. <laughs> nice shot. You can go ahead and pick it up again. A most something. of the time, you got it. Yeah, kind of. There you go. I, uh, you jumping is Y. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm sure a lot of stuff will come up. Ah, don't worry about that. Oh, <laughs> That's just change. Every time you jump, you lose yeah. fatigue, but it's it's not really what big deal. when it goes on, you just can't jump. No, you can keep jumping, but you can't lose do health. like some other stuff. No, oh. jumping actually it takes away your fatigue, but not because it stops you from jumping, because it stops you from attacking and doing power attacks and stuff. Right. So the lock picking system in, in Oblivion is much much different. Yeah. Um, so what you want to do is you want to do what you just did, and then you want to press A when it gets to the top. Maybe oh. when it gets <laughs> go and try again. It gets to the right when it like hits the top of that thing. There you go. Oh, I see. Yeah, it stays up there. And then you press A, and then it goes through. And so that was a, a very easy one, but yeah, you'll get the say, hang of it. Yeah. It's it's a lot different. It's yeah. Uh, Skyrim kind of adopted the Fallout uh, way of lock picking. So um, this is you're gonna go magic. through kind of a series of tunnels here. So I did practice using my magic. If you want to, you can. It's just kind of suggesting you try everything out. Uh, so you can go ahead to the right here. My dagger. The right tra trigger whenever you're ready. Up there. Yeah, and then if you go all the way to the left. See how there's like these little yeah. sub tabs? The one to the left is always the all. It has everything. So here it flare. gives you it gives you a couple spells that do take away from your magic. Um, yeah, so flare is like a fireball and the heal is uh, obviously it heals a little Ooh. bit, but how do I, oh, you press R B. Yo, okay, well, where where's my R B? R R B the right trigger. Oh, there LB. you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's kind oh, of you get your air. <laughs> almost. There, there you go. I think you hit him this time though. Ooh. Very nice. So I'm gonna teach you something real quick though. So go back to your inventory menu. Um, so if you go to yeah this menu and, and if you hold down Y, you have a hotkey which you use with the D-pad. Oh. So go to, yeah, so you can like move it around. And it's it's different than the Skyrim version. They have like kind of a favorite menu. Yeah. This is a, a hotkey, so you can just press the button real quick. You don't have to pause the game. Oh. Um, I think they're both, there's advantages to both ways of doing it. But in this game, this is how it works. Interesting. So yeah, you can do that. And you can also do it with magic if you want to. Okay. And your night eye, you can put well, that we'll in one of them. I'll access that then. 
X or something? Uh, no, the D-pad. So which one did you oh, put it in? I see. You see, you just hold it down, or oh, you can just be, quickly click yeah, it. Yeah, I think I'll put some of my weapons so in So put there. your weapons in and put Night Eye in one of them, so you can always just switch real quick. Because you're going to be using that a lot. You'll find it's so useful. And then anything else, really, you want to put in. And just kind of remember where you put it. Alright, so, yeah, those they're actually running away from a zombie. So if you go to the... Okay. There's a zombie yeah. following. Alright, then little fine. kid trying to kill me there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this thing. Not too Bam. much damage, but... That's okay. So blunt in this game, uh, they don't. Blunts now? <laughs> yeah. In this game, there's no um, one-handed or two-handed. It's blunt and blade, and blade is yeah. You're running low on health there, sort of. Not really. But blade is is like swords and daggers and two-handed swords, and blunt is hammers and axes Oops. and uh, things like that. No, it's alright. Just want to take this motherfucker down. He does quite a lot of damage. He's he's pretty sturdy himself. And if you hold down L, you can block from him a little bit. Still take a little bit of damage, but it's uh better than just Damn. straight up taking it. This guy's got a lot of health. Yeah, you can probably get him real quick there. Ooh, do a little maneuver on him. There you go. Um, he's just got some useless shit. Uh, actually, it's not useless. This is if you want to do alchemy. Um, if not, then you can keep it. Alchemy is a little bit tougher in this game, I would say, than in the other one. So this has some heavy armor if you want to use that instead. Um, Khajiits are known for being fast and light and stuff, so they don't usually have heavy armor, but I mean, you can play however you want. Otherwise, just grab the arrows, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's some of that. I don't know why axes are blunt. I mean, I didn't think they're pretty sharp. Mm. <laughs> Low. I didn't, uh oh. And so, yeah, that zombie I, I, just kind of went I, ham. Yeah. So if you go, if you press B, I don't know if you have any potions. But to improve your health, you can use the heal. Oh. I think I picked up something. Um, heal minor wounds. Click that one, yeah. And hot then you press, you press RB. You can hot key if you want. It's not really that good. I mean, oh. it's it, you can do it for now, yeah. It, it is, it's okay, but once you start to level up, you get more health. And so healing 8 health doesn't really... I mean, it doesn't help too much. But you gotta press RB and you'll, you already have it selected. See down there? Oh. And so it just automatically puts it. You just equip it. Wasn't this night eye I'm using? Yeah. So your night eye is still going. Oh. When you click the night eye, it lasts for 30 seconds, and you can switch to whatever you want. Oh. It's like a lasting spell, I mm. guess. So now with some more rats. I could go and like sleep if I wanted to. Go to sleep? No, yeah, that um, like, since I those are your skills. That are, those are your minor skills leveling up, and so once you upgrade a certain amount of minor oh. skills, then you'll level up. And it'll tell you, it'll say, like, you should sleep when you have the chance, or it says, like, you should rest and meditate or something. <laughs> so anyways, after you, <laughs> after you, um, and always just keep an eye on your health, I guess, for yeah. the most part, that's the only other thing, because there are some nasty, nasty guys in the, in the beginning here. Open chest, weak potion of respite. Respite? Respite? I think it's respite. Who knows? I failed English class 30 times. That's why I'm here. Um, so yeah, there's just, for the most part, it's a lot of rats, and I'm pretty sure when you get into the next part, you're gonna see, like, a dead goblin, and then there's gonna be, like, a shit ton of goblins. Which is an enemy that I wish they, they kept in the... In, throughout Skyrim. But. Damn. Is this rat meat any good? It's, it's just for alchemy. Oh. It's, in the other game, all the food in this game, is uh, for alchemy in Skyrim. It's you just eat it for health, but oh, they don't do that in I this see. game. Uh huh. Yeah, I never really got into alchemy in Skyrim. I mean, it was definitely the more. Intense, I mean, if like, you really, know. really commit to it, it's pretty fun. But otherwise, you just kind of make a lot of shitty potions. Yeah. Nigga, God, niggas, nigga ain't gonna be the death of me. Nigga's quick. All right, and then yeah, where you, you can just put your although your healing does take up your magic, so um you have to wait a little bit, but it'll go. You can check and see if you got any potions. I don't know if you picked anything up. Where do I go for that? Uh, press L B or L, trigger left trigger. Sorry, <laughs> right there. And then you go down or go to the potion. This is the potion one right there. There you go. So you got you do have one healing. It's right up there. Should probably heal you a lot since you're low level. All right, cool. Um, and then just remember to keep an eye on it, I guess. It's very... This game is kind of easy at some point, so it's easy to not really pay attention. There's just some, some shit on the ground here. If you want to use oh, it. Oh, hell yeah. 
Where is that? Uh, you got to go here. See how yeah. you're in the other tab? Yeah, you know what you're doing. Damn. No, I really... Oh, go to the... There you go. See the different tabs. So you use yeah. the left stick to go... Or left trigger. Sorry. Left stick or the left bumper to go through different tabs. All right. Now, this is going to take a lot of your stamina, but it's probably worth it. It does a lot of damage. He's already yeah. dead. <laughs> so there's one... Yeah, there you go. Damn. A lot of difference with one number. <laughs> exactly. One to two. One to two. So if you go over to the left there, I think.